In this tutorial, I want to show you a workaround to the XLOOKUP function that will prevent it from returning the first value every single time. It will instead return the first value, the second value, and so on and so forth. In case if you have multiple items that are repeated um, for your lookup criteria. So in this example, we are looking up the form and the retail price of Blackberries. And as you can see, it's returning the same thing, um, even though our data has fresh and frozen into different prices per pound. So that is because the XLOOKUP function will only return the first item whenever it's looking up something. But a workaround is to use a combination of the if, if we filter, sorry, and count a function. So to show you what I mean, you can do equals filter. And what we're doing here is we're filtering the the range of data that is relevant to what we're looking for. So we we want to filter the form and the retail price wherever, comma for the next argument, wherever the fruit is equal to blackberries. And as you can see, now we, ha we have the filter function and we're returning wherever something's relevant to blackberries. But in here, we want to only return the first one and then the second one on the second row. So to do this, we can do choose rows. And which row do you want to choose? Well, we want to choose the first row just as a placeholder. Um, and as you can see, now we're only choosing the first row of the range. But what's something else that can return this one that will also be relevant as we copy and paste down. Well, that would be a count if function, right? A count if wherever wherever the fruit is the same as it, what it can potentially find above. So to do this, we're going to go through and place this one with a count if. And what range do you want to look at? We want to look at the first range and anything that extends down. So we're going to do first range and then just type in a semicolon. I'm just going to lock in the first A2. So that way, as this pastes down, the second second piece will just continue to drag while the first one will stay locked in. So, like so. And this isn't working because I just grabbed the range, but I also need to make sure the criteria is selected too, which is going to be what we have to the left. And as you can see, as the copy paste this down, now, now we are, are filtering forever the fruit is blackberries, but we want to choose rows for this filtered range. Which way do we want to choose? We want to choose the count of occurrence for it, of a fruit that shows up. So this is the first occurrence of blackberries, so it returns the first row in the filtered range. But this right here is the second one, it's the second occurrence in our data. And but because of that, it returns the, the second occurrence of blackberries in the um, filtered range. That's that said. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.